Welcome to Panache Luxury. In today's video, I'll be working on wall three of the laundry room. This is a rough sketch of the bathroom area that's going to be in the laundry room. And uh, that's just going to be off to the left side. And the area is going to be measured at eight and seven eighths by 14 and three eighths inch. And then the wall is going to be five and five eighths inch by 14 and three eighths inch. So I've got all of the um, things that I want to have in the bathroom. I have a cabinet on one side. There's the toilet, another little cabinet area there, a window, the mirror, and then the vanity, and of course the floor. Now I've already cut out the section for the wall. And this is the section here. And this is the wall that's going to go in, um, that's going to go uh, for the, uh, the laundry room and I've already sectioned everything off so I've got this going in this direction here and I'm going to lay this down so you can get a better look at it so that's going to divide up that area there and then this space here is going to be where I'm going to put the cabinet that I've got here on the drawing so that's what that's going to look like and it's just going to be fair, fairly straightforward nothing fancy or anything it'll have at least four drawers and it'll have one that'll open up and I'd like to put like a, a laundry basket of some sort in the inside there now the paper that I'm going to use for the wall is something that I picked up a little while ago and I thought that that would be a beautiful accent now I have the toilet the mirror um, the faucet and uh, I believe the lights that are coming. Divider lines where the wallpaper separates the bathroom from the laundry area. I crease the wallpaper along the edges then cut it. Mod Podge is then applied to the area, then the wallpaper is laid down. Rather than one wall for the bathroom, there will be two. So here I'm creasing a piece of wallpaper to be cut for the inner wall, then the same will be done to the second wall, which will be on the left outer side and close off the bathroom. Using mat board for the bathroom flooring, it's cut to 5 and 3 quarters inch by 9 and 3 eighths inch. Then two coats of pearl white acrylic paint and two coats of gloss Mod Podge are applied.
On to building the laundry table. The same process is used to build it except markings rather than a sketch is used. I will leave the link on how to construct the kitchen cabinet island in the description box. Next half inch by two inch panels were glued to mark sections marked two inches apart. Off camera the drawers were built. Once again I failed to film the construction, so footage from the Cabinet Island video is inserted to show how it was done. The drawers are made of mat board, but for demonstration purposes I'm using foam board. After the drawers were constructed, it was on to constructing the door covers. Scrap pieces of matte board were painted then used to design the covers. The doors added a touch of whimsy to an already colorful room. A paint color list will be left in the description box. Toothpick handles were made for the drawers. A video on how these are made will be left in the description box. As for the countertop, it will remain bare until I decide what I would like to do with it. 
Join me next time for the continuation of the Deluxe Reading Dream Laundry Room build. Until then, thank you so very much for watching.